Hey guys, Technonaut Games here um, with another manufacturer series race. Uh, here's qualifying. Here's uh, I'm just going to show you my first lap. So we get a good and deep start. Um, I won my first race ever that I did last time out, and this so uh, it gave me a lot of confidence going into this one. Um, so I gave myself a little bit of a lead or a gap to this guy, and it seemed to work out well because coming along the back straight, you'll see I get a huge tail. Um, <laughs> today I'm in uh, my Mark Martin livery uh, Mustang. I figure I'll switch it up every time I do a manufacturer race. So there I got a uh, pole, original pole for the time being. Um, but later on, I could only get a little bit quicker. I didn't get a really good clean lap. So I could only muster a second. So here we are at the start of the race. There's the guy on pole with the Hyundai. And here's my Mark Martin uh, Ford. And then no livery Toyota. And PSRT 20 Dobu. Nice looking. So I want all I want to do at this point here is get deep into the corner enough that the person like I <laughs> like I did I did exactly what I wanted get deep enough on the inside that the person behind me doesn't get any ideas. I almost tap him there. I had to back off just a little bit coming out of that corner close but it's a good start so far uh, we've got a little gap uh, to the player behind us and we're right on TJ Crazy's bumper so all I want to do right now I just want to stick in this guy's draft and uh, save my tires and if they're well if a spot opens up I'll take it obviously but um, save my tires, stay in this draft, and apply as much pressure as possible to make, make a mistake or two. Which he is breaking really late coming into the first corner. So he goes super deep there. I, uh, I get a little excited <laughs> and try to get out of that corner too fast, which sucks. Because of that, the guy that was running third catch right up on my bumper. Now he's in my draft. As you can see in my radar, he almost actually taps me right in the bumper through the middle of that corner. But he's a little too dope for that corner there. Makes a bit of a mistake and falls back. And so we got a lead right now. This guy's still hot on our heels. I'm pushing a little bit. I wanna break I wanna break the draft zone if I can. So I think you know what? I'll give him a little smoke screen. <laughs> no, I just made a mistake, but uh, I guess he was following me close, because if you look on the radar, uh, he fell way back there to like 4th or 5th. About 6th. So, I got a little bit of a penalty for my smokescreen. They don't like that kind of stuff going on in races. It's frowned upon. <laughs> So, 
I was hoping to get enough ahead that I would stay in the lead um, from the Hyundai behind. And if you look at that, wow, okay. Four Canadians in top four, that's pretty cool. But he actually caught up a little bit on that lap, so I could not shake him at all. I actually got a really good exit out of the corner, so it's a shame I had a penalty on me there. I think I would have gained on him. Uh, so I pulled the inside, I tried to let him by. Um, I figure it's still pretty early in the race. It's not the end of the world if I'm in second. But I almost been it too at the same time. He did. I think about going in on him there, but I decide not to. Um, and here again, the door opens up for me, but uh, <laughs> I have to be careful because I don't want to ruin both of our races. stuck in his draft at this point I'm gonna follow him around again my uh, I've got an even bigger gap to the guy in third now so I'm not too worried about that as long as I'm in the fight for the lead we're good so I'm just gonna follow around stay in his draft save my tires although he keeps going so that was close I almost made a move there again he keeps going so deep into that first corner. And I try to go to the outside. Um, he had to make a correction so we get together. He was a little too far inside there. That's why he came out and hit me. It wasn't uh, get the hell off me thing. <laughs> I don't think. I just sent it into that corner. I don't know. I, did, I wanted to like get right back on his ass. Because as long if I can get right in his draft, as close as I can get, it'll be easier. So here we are coming to um, lap eight, pit stop time. Um, my left front tire is actually doing pretty well. So right now my plan was just to follow him uh, wherever he was going to end up going. If he decided to do nine laps, I was going to go screw it, do nine laps, just so I could stay in his uh, draft. But he goes for the fake out here. Oh, oh he actually almost got me. Uh, but I get in there, get my sauce. Let my guys go to work. They do a fantastic job. And I actually end up right on his ass coming out, but we're in traffic now. And uh, he bumps that guy, and I he hit him in the bumper. I was trying to get to the outside of him so I could pass him. I said, screw it, I've got new tires. I get, I don't know what you're doing, but get the hell out of my way. So I did take a few liberties as that pass, but I, I was not losing. <laughs> I was not losing this guy's bumper. <laughs> I didn't care. And then the move of the century right there. Crossing up on him. He had to slow down coming out. Puts me into this guy's bearded midget still to pit. Go around the outside. <laughs> uh, I was really lucky here. I thought he was going to push me wide. Um, but that's what new tires can do. You can like you can go around the outside of that corner with new tires compared to old ones. That's how much faster they are. So DJ follows me through. So we're first and second again. This time I'm leading. He 
he's sticking with me really, really well. Like, right on me. Um, I do gain a little bit down the straightaways. This thing seems to be quicker down the straight, and in this corner, I usually gain time. I'll break myself just a little bit. But he does a little more than me also. So now he's gonna start applying pressure on me. Um, he's within two or three tenths, I think, in this whole lap. Sticks his nose in almost through that hairpin. I'm trying to break the toe, but he's following me down on the inside. Going across, going across. He's still on my bumper. He's right on my bumper. But uh, I'm just trying to be smooth. I don't really care too much. If he wanted to pass, I don't think I'd really want too much. But I just get a lot better exit out of the corner. And I think it saves my tires. When, I, when you get slow in fast in, it's so hard to remember for me personally sometimes. You just want to push it as hard as you can every time. But as you can see, he made a few mistakes on that lap and gave us like a big, big, big lead compared to what it was. So I go in, or I go, I dive in to break the draft. And now we've got almost a two second lead now. So in one lap, it went from four tenths of a second to almost two. It just shows you what can happen when you make one mistake it unravels the next few corners for you it happens to everybody I think and here we are a little later and he's made a few more mistakes so I've got a little more of a lead and if you look at the map on the top right unfortunately he sends himself into the sand on the last corner but it gives us the which it was unfortunate because it was a great race going on, but it gave us a huge lead. So all I had to do there here, I'll show you the next set of pit stops. I think I had a nine second lead when I came into the pits on this one. Threw on the hard tires, I figured I did the same strategy last time, it'll work this time if we got this big of a lead. But uh, I come out right behind DJ Crazy. This shows you the difference right now between brand new hard tires and really old softs. Because I think he went nine laps on that set. And they are just cooked. The left front is, especially on the left turn corner, watch. I kind of wanted to get him beside him there, so he had to slow down to go to the pits. But uh, I couldn't quite accomplish that so he gets in in front of me goes into the pits and uh, I'm off to the well <laughs> I'm off to the races I guess uh, so since I had such a nice uh, end of the race I'll shoot to the last lap and a half here coming around the second last corner and the second last lap And um, he's actually dropped down to fourth, but the Bake Shake guy didn't take hard tires for some reason. So he gets screwed over at the end of the race. Anyway, coming up to our last lap, crowd's roaring, of course. Yeah, and 
and all I have to do is make a nice clean lap and the win is mine. Uh, I got sloppy at like a couple laps ago so I focused really hard in the last few laps because I had such a big lead I was not paying as much attention to my show. And I think about I think about bending it here but I think nah you know that's the old me the new me is gonna seal the deal and win the race <laughs> So overall it was Canadian 1, 2, 3, so that was really neat to see. Um, a lot of Americans in the room too. So here we are in Victory Lane again, our second time in a row, buddy. That's awesome. This time in our Valvoline Ford. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'll be back with some more races and coming up. Uh, see you then. Technonaut Games out.